Good evening, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Unscripted and Unchained. I am DM Bloodworth, and uh, as you can tell by the uh, title down below, uh, I am going to be focusing on the uh, RPG Lion and Dragon, uh, subtitled Medieval Authentic OSR RPG. And uh, I, actually, I actually ordered this game... Uh, sometime last month when I was, uh, when I was on vacation. And so, uh, you know, when I returned from my vacation, this was waiting on my doorstep. So I was, I was really quite excited to start digging into, uh, Lion and Dragon. And, uh, once, once I had completed, you know, a, a pretty in-depth, uh, skimming through the, um, skimming through the uh, the core rule book, you know, I, I decided that before I wanted to go further, you know, and before I did this, uh, this video, I wanted to make sure that I picked up the, uh, the setting booklet as well. So just so you can see, I mean, here is my, uh, here's my copy of the, uh, of the core rule book. And here is the Dark Albion setting. So I'm just going to go through a little bit of what I found to be, um, I'm going to say refreshing about, uh, about this particular game. So it's a, it's a, you know, low fantasy setting. Um, but it is set in a, in a, you know, a, a very realistic, um, you know, time period, uh, what they call medieval authentic is, is really quite true. I, I mean, I, I like the fact that, uh, that this game, you know, really focuses on the setting and the, you know, uh, a very close reflection, uh, not a perfect reflection, but a close reflection of what life during medieval times, uh, would have been about. So, as I dig through the book, and I mean, I could use uh, I could use my my other cameras to actually flip through these pages and show you um, the the book's interior. So here is the uh, here's the main book, and just to show you uh, some of the you know some of the uh, the main categories here. So. Default setting assumptions, all right, so social status is extremely important. Um, monotheism is a, you know, is a, uh, a function of this game uh, time period and this game setting, so it, it as well is very important. important. The concept of life is very cheap uh, during this time period. Magic is rare and civilization is survival, so... This is what your, this is what your players are going to be confronted with when, um, you know, when playing this game is is a a slightly different concept than what they might get in other, you know, role playing games. Uh, you know, certainly other um, higher fantasy uh, role playing games. So. Continuing on, like what I really like, because you can, you tie in the default setting assumptions and then you go to, you know, this next section where it deals with the currency system. And the reason why I, I jump to those two is because this game makes the type of currency system important going back to that very first, you know, default setting of assumptions, you know, so it, it kind of looks at the economy in a way that um, you would be forced to do so if you were living in an authentic medieval, you know, uh, time period. So once I've gone, you know, through, you know, quite a bit of this book, I mean, I, I have not play tested it yet. And, um, but, but I have, I have read close to 80%, you know, of the core rule book, certainly, uh, satisfied enough 
to make this video, you know, to, um, to give it praises where I think it deserves praises. Now, the second book, I, I will fully admit, I have not gone through, um, you know, in any great detail, but the things that I do find, you know, um, you know, very encouraging is that, and let, let me just make sure I have this, uh, you know, here, first of all, the, the books, this is a hefty volume. I mean, I don't, I don't know if you can actually see, all right, so yeah, actually you can um, see from this angle. This is a, a, this is a very thick book, all right? It is over 300 pages long, um, or very close to 300 pages long, I should say, about 270, about 277 pages. Um, let's just say 270, uh, you know, of uh, written information. You know, and this is the, the Grim Fantasy England of the 15th century. And uh, this is the setting booklet. And as you can see, you know, we go into, you know, your basic introduction. All right, so what is the basic premise of it? The War of the Rose, uh, the, the Rose War. Um, what kind of adventures you can run here. There's the Gazetteer of, the, uh, of Albion. And it talks about the government, the religion, the, the magic, the minorities, the technology, the, his, you know, the history of the world, um, the dangers and the adventures, the, the various regions. And, and so there's a number of regions. There's kingdoms of the continent. There's the law and justice of Albion. There's the, once again, the history of Albion, which is actually below this. This section here then character so it goes through you know a bit of character creation social class which is very important for this uh, game system uh, ideas about or concepts about home territories and then uh, prior events tables character classes character names goes through the currency and equipment you know so the idea of coinage and starting wealth uh, for for the characters, noble houses, people of interest, sorcery and secrets, adventuring in Albion, and then the various appendices. So, you know, a, a very a, a very you know well thought out, uh, comprehensive uh, setting booklet. All right, now. Combined up, both of these were, you know, combined, I believe, you know, around $30. So a complete game system, including the game, you know, the, the core rule book, which is the only thing that you need, and the, uh, you know, and the setting booklet, you know, about $30. So, so it's a, you know, it's a, an economical role-playing game uh, to get the full game in order to... Uh, you know, in order to start it up and, and start, uh, you know, producing your own adventures and such. Now, I'm sure that there are other supplements out there, uh, but I was just focused on getting the, the core book and the setting. And that's enough for me for now, at least, to, uh, to actually start jumping into this game. So, I kind of look at this now as a... Uh, you know, as a, a next step, because I, I have, you know, if you've been following my my uh, my videos, my channel for some time, you know that I'm a big fan of uh, of Mifrog, and Mifrog is set in the in the Iron Age, you know, of you know of of Northern Europe or what would be the the Scandinavian islands, um, you know, predominantly the islands of Norway. And so now this book here, or the, this game here, uh, will, will take us into that next time period. You know, so at least if you're, if you're looking at in terms of historical uh, context, you know, we now have two games that are fairly low fantasy, you know, that can kind of, you know, piggyback off of each other at least... If you had a group of players who were, you know, like that kind of a setting, 
you know, then we can do these these two particular games. Um, if I wanted to go way, way back into the prehistory, you know, of, uh, of known place, then you can actually do something from the Hyborian age and, and deal with, with something along the lines of Robert E. Howard's Conan. So, you know, I, I like historical fiction. Um, I, I, I like it both in, in novels and in reading, but I, I also like it, uh, more so in, uh, in RPGs. So, um, yeah, I'm a big fan of low fantasy RPGs and Lion and Dragon is certainly something that I would recommend you take a look at. All right. And, uh, you know, and happy gaming with it. I think that you'll enjoy it. So thank you for joining in for uh, Unscripted and Unchained. If you uh, haven't subscribed yet, you know, please feel free to subscribe. Hit the uh, hit the bell to uh get an alert when I download uh, new content and, uh, you know, thumbs up if you enjoyed the video and absolutely leave comments. If there's any game that you want me to take a look at, please feel free to leave a comment. And uh, if there's any game that you are uh, kickstarting or you know that is being kickstarted that you'd like for me to take a look at, uh, I, I welcome you to put a link into the comments section so that I can then follow up on it and take a look. And if it's a game that, uh, you know, that I feel that I'm willing to back with my own money, uh, when I do get the, uh, when I do get the game in my uh, hand, I will certainly do a video, uh, showing it off. I, I really do enjoy, uh, supporting, you know, other YouTubers and their projects, which, uh, you know, Lion and Dragon is, is certainly one of them. And, um, you know, I, I, I just, I just would rather spend a lot of time on, you know, these smaller, you know, uh, independent publishers, you know, and their, uh, their OSR or OSG, uh, you know, game, uh, games that they're producing, you know, in order to support, uh, support our hobby. Uh, and keep our hobby, uh, you know, moving forward with uh, new and innovative, you know, games that are out there. So you all have a good uh, upcoming, uh, well, the remainder of this week and then an upcoming weekend. I'm going to be away for a couple of days. So, uh, you know, I probably won't be back, uh, you know, uh, putting up anything until, you know, sometime Saturday night. So you all have a, a, a good week. I look forward to seeing you on the gaming screen sometime very soon.